this is for anyone sun moon rising and venus in the sign of libra and as always you generally so take what resonates so we're just going to get right to it libra um libra those who related to the narcissist read last week i know it was very um i know i have to start putting trigger warnings honestly i don't know why but any reads for narcissists should should honestly be honest you know i don't cater to gaslighting here and i did get some nuts you know some people didn't like probably what was said but i just know because i'm a person who's dealt with a lot of narcissists um even to this day as an empath you will the the light and the dark of these energies are always going to challenge you and once you conquer yourself yeah keep them free yourself honestly this is what this reading's about so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna applaud those who are in a place of releasing this toxic person. And that's what this energy is about. I feel it. I feel the choice of a new direction. I feel of like getting away and changing your life. Um, so let's get into this read for you, Libra. Energy for Libra and love. This is so big this this month. Keep an open mind. There's a lot of optimism necessary here. And of course, trust the process. This situation is calling you for to have faith. Yes. Free yourself again and release the ex. Oh my God. I mean, Libra, I, I know that unless you guys watch my reads, I don't come here and lie. So that for some people, that reading was probably hard to process, but I'm glad because right now this week's reading is not for those people. This week's, this week's reading is for those who are ready to free themselves and to say goodbye and trust the process. Because also, if you guys have been a victim of narcissism, that means that it's going to take a lot of um, healing and grace for yourself. So I empathize with those who have come out of it, but I also have to um, give you strength. Yeah. Take back power of your life. You know, letting go of, of these people are, are not the easiest, but it has to happen. It's like hard boundaries are totally necessary. All right. All right. Whoa. Spirit is definitely speaking for you. So conflict and defeat. It's not going to be easy. There goes the devil. This person, um, I remember the title was something they are clinging. So this person is not going to make it easy to let go. Now, for those of you who are in a, in a marriage or had a, a marriage long-term relationship with this person, because that did come up in last week's read. But again, this is about movement, choices, decisions. So there's a lot of choices and decisions that will have to be made. Hanged man is seeing things much clearer about the situation i think there's a lot of information that's coming up also stand back <sighs> oh my god all these readings I mean, this is my fourth reading guys and i honestly they've been extremely heavy um so i'm already exhausted but this is a stand back energy this is an energy of no contact and almost like uh you're gonna see you're gonna see them for who they are sacral chakra a lot of chakra healing is taking place as well right now so this is a space to heal this is a space to um cut the cord it's cut cording here is happening hermit energy i love this energy virgo season is here so a lot of solitude necessary yep high priestess energy again spending time alone seeing things for what they are and then the lovers that is the connection here where it's like again seeing things for what they are all the wounds that came from this relationship and guys i don't have to do reversals because i just feel the energies when they are what they are there was a lot of wounds for this and also this um i feel a bondage probably that's where the devil energy is here because there was like a a bondage you know and sometimes the fog of these connections can keep us stuck for a very long time so getting around this movement choice and decision so this obviously is going to take some time knight of pentacles there goes your energy gemini but fool and goes the hermit so definitely spirit is speaking about the space is needed for you to really trust the process um 
allow it to unfold. Knight of Pentacles is being methodical, calculated, strategic, um, really focused on a more well thought, thought out process of moving forward, right? So clearly this is a time to spend with yourself and really understand things. And I feel this hermit energy is, again, this hangman. Again, around this hangman is the perspective. Yep, seven of pentacles. The fog is gone. Eight of swords with the tower. It's like the, the, the rose glasses have fallen off. Now you're able to see things for what they are and, um, I also feel this person, if once you guys take back your power, they're going to feel blinded by your, your version now. The, the new you that's becoming, which is fine. That's, that's just what happens, especially those who have to deal with legal issues and children still. So you see things for what they are, and this is going to cause a lot of tower moments. This may have caused a lot of tower moments for yourself, um, but to clarify, um, no, not clarify. I hear draw the line, drawing the line to what you're you're gonna put up with. So give me more on the sacral chakra. It's like enough is enough, right? Give me more on the sacral chakra. So three of pentacles. Give me more on the sacral chakra. High priestess. Oof, guys. So we have high priestess here, and again, I feel this is a lot of information that's coming through about this person. I think be careful. Um, also, I'm getting a warning with this. Give me more of this Three of Pentacles. They're not going to really collaborate with you. I think uh, seeing them and looking ahead, marriage energy, Hierophant, this could be a lot of the legal issues where you just have to kind of see. I think this person is secretly uh, like underhanding you. Like they're trying to sneak things and... Um, There's a lot of healing because I don't feel guilty. There we go. I don't want you guys to feel guilty about what this person is doing. You have to trust the process about what's happening here. I just hear that extremely strong. You know, this hermit energy. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. Work through it. I also feel like it's a focus. You've got to be really focused about what's happening. High priestess energy. Be alert. Game more of this high priestess. Let's really clarify. Yeah. Be alert. Be alert to this person's plans. You make your plans. Three of wands. Temperance. Be patient. And judgment. Things will work out it, now that you're in this awareness. Also, this turning point for you is for your own beginning. So faded, you're trusting in your intuition. You're, it's probably a lot of you, probably this is a spiritual awakening with the judgment, high priestess, temperance. Like it's like the divine was preparing you to free yourself, for you to finally free yourself. And again, this is about your faith. This situation is calling you to have faith. So everything that's coming up is for a reason for you to really close out a chapter here. Give me more of this harmony. Why the lovers? my lovers eight of cups yeah walking away leaving this behind yep ten of pentacles queen of wands so this is you taking back your power spirit is saying free yourself it's time to take back control of your life you're taking control of your life you're walking away taking back control of your life despite of how long you've been with this person ten of pentacles right so let's Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Yep. Despite of being with this person for a long time, Seven of Cups, Page of Wands. Um, I feel um, with the Seven of Cups, because Seven of Cups represents illusion. And it's almost like, again, coming out of the fog of the illusion of this relationship and seeing it for what it is. There was really probably not too much growth with them. I'll give me more of this eight of cups. Yeah, moving, self-love. Look at this, choosing you. Ace of cups, moving forward. Ace of cups um, with the eight of cups is nine of cups. So your fulfillment of wishes, taking care of yourself. Nine of cups energy. Yeah, taking steps, page of pentacles to really finally take back your power. Give me more of this queen of wands.
That was three of cups and two of wands, but I didn't feel it. Yep, magician energy. And taking back your power, the strength. The strength with the three of swords. It's been long overdue. Magician, now you get to manifest this. And this is about taking action and finding your confidence, your resilience, conquering this fog, the pain, the burdens of this relationship, just you know also acceptance of the separation three of swords can indicate the separation of this relationship so spirit is really wanting you to stay strong and have trust and free yourself here so let's see what is the blockage here what are the blockages beautiful i know it i know it i know it karmic staying is toxic this was a lesson, leave. I mean, I can't make this up, you guys. Here it says, this was a lesson, leave. Karmic, staying is toxic, you know? Uh, and then lies in the bottom, pay attention to the signs and their actions. Yeah, it's it's been a very, it's been a roller coaster for a lot of you with this person. And it's really time to free yourself here. So we've got guidance for you. Be present in the moment. The past has passed and the future is still unknown. There's no need to worry. The only time that does matter is the present. Be mindful. And I think this is about your focus here in the solitude. This hermit energy is to really stay focused on your plans. Again, with the judgment here with the high priestess and the temperance and the ace of wands. Again, this is about planning, looking ahead, having a more positive outlook and where your focus needs to be. A lot of you, again, this was a spiritual awakening. And so this requires you to be present, but to really focus on what needs to be done in order for you to take the steps to transition out of this, you know, to really create this resilience here with the strength card. So let's get one more guidance for you, Libra. Okay, I'm going to take these because there's obviously messages for all of you in different ways. So we have play. Give yourself permission to have fun. Raise your vibration by simply experiencing the joys of life. Yes. You know, again, I feel like all these messages I'm getting from here, um, these guidances from the oracles is because this is really tough, you know. And like I said, releasing yourself from any narcissistic behavior or um, toxic person can really reduce your sacral, your energy. So you've got to give yourself permission to have fun, raise your vibration by simply experiencing the joys of life. And this is again, repeating about learning to be in the present moment and just, right, the past has passed and the future is still unknown. So being in the moment is very important every time. So you don't like get um, worked up with your emotions about the shoulda, coulda, would have, right? And so moonlight, I bathe in moonlight and she whispers that everything will be okay at this very moment. I'm right where I need to be, yeah. Again, we're talking about being mo in the present moment. At this very moment, I'm right where I need to be. It may be tough, but again, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And earth, yes, Virgo season is about grounding, Libra. Someone who is grounded, practical, and reliable. So this is an energy of choosing to ground yourself. Transformation, yep, the death energy, which is the awakening here with the high priestess, temperance, judgment. And of course, hermit energy, where your focus needs to be. Accept and embrace the shedding of old skin as you continue to evolve and awaken and you are and shatter. The things that shatter you and break your heart can open your eyes. And that's exactly what I feel here. These energies will shatter you, but at the same time, they open your eyes if you're willing to see. Um, and I knew that from last week's reading for those who related with those narcissistic, that narcissistic energy um that those who dislike the video because again when you dislike my videos it limits how many people get touched you know how how the algorithm pushes the video and so you're gonna see i barely have any views because the algorithms are very tough to start back up because i had to take two months off you guys but I noticed by the dislikes that some people just were were shattered still and not ready to see, right? So again, the things that shatter you and break your heart can open your eyes and not everybody's going to be ready for their eyes to be open is what I'm saying. And that's also part of the process, right? So 
the soul is about evolving and accept and embrace the shedding of old skin as you continue to evolve and awaken like it's a it's constantly evolving um and sometimes we get stuck in a cycle and and we'll stay in this karmic cycle right staying is toxic this was a lesson we'll stay with the same lesson until we wake up one day and say you know what enough is enough and for this group i can see enough is enough so i love you libra please like share subscribe click that bell button if you enjoyed my frequency program